and welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you are new. I am gonna start off by saying, if you did not see my previous Mockingbird video, I am gonna make sure that is linked below and I'm gonna also link the card if I can because that'll go way more in depth about using it as a double stroller. I have been using the stroller for almost two years now, so this is going to be like an update on that update as well as talking about the riding board. All right, so as I said, I've used the stroller for two years and I feel like I bought the stroller right before a lot of changes happened. So since then, they have updated the adapters for the second seat. I still have the old ones. I didn't find it necessary to change that. But with the strollers now, you can put your infant in the car seat at the top and then your little one who's sitting in the second seat at the bottom can face out. So the ones that I had, they still had to face me. So basically they were facing the back of the car seat, but that is not the only option now. Again, I got those like right before they made that change. I used the carriage more than the car seat anyway, so it wasn't really that big of a deal. I highly recommend the carriage if you were on the fence. If you also love or loved the carriage, please let me know in the comments. That is something I can talk about a lot. Another thing that I changed since I got my stroller was the extendable canopy. And so if you had bought your stroller, I think it was before November of 2020, I got mine in October, I believe. They ended up making the canopy in a way that you can extend it further. So that came standard on all of the newer strollers, but I still had the old canopy. If you are like me and you have the old canopy, you can buy an extendable canopy. I will put the link in the description for that. I ended up getting two of the same kind of canopy and then they came out with the Sage and I absolutely fell in love. So I ended up buying the Sage canopy because I absolutely loved the color. Even with the pink canopies, everyone always thought Emmy was a boy. So I'm sure having the Sage canopy is not going to help at all. The other big thing that had changed after I got my stroller, which it didn't really affect anything with my stroller, but Mockingbird started selling in Target. They don't actually sell at the Target closest to me. They sell at the Target that I think is like 30 minutes from my house, but I have purchased things such as the rain covers since I originally bought my stroller. So it is really nice that you can easily get that at some Targets. I still absolutely love this stroller. We have taken it to the aquarium. We've taken it to the zoo. We did take it on the beach, but with both girls in it and how soft the sand was, it really wasn't easy to push at all, but we do often take it on trails and don't really have any issues there. We have also taken it to Disney and I absolutely loved having it at Disney. I will make sure I link that video in the description as well. For American Airlines, they had a 20 pound maximum for strollers. So we were not able to use it in the airport as I had originally planned for us to do. We used a stroller bag and checked it, which was what we were planning to do at the gate, but we just had to do it as soon as we arrived at the airport instead. I do mention it in the Disney video, but one of my favorite things about having the Mockingbird there was that it wasn't wide. So when space was difficult in the stroller parking area, it didn't really matter because it was such a narrow stroller and there were plenty of spaces that I was able to fit it. Okay, onto the riding board. I was so excited when I found out they were coming out with the riding board and I ended up purchasing it immediately. I love that they made it so easy to attach to the stroller. It really is super simple to get it onto the stroller and I appreciate that the adapter that it comes with can stay on, but you can actually still take the riding board off. We don't end up using the riding board every single time that we use the stroller. So I like that I can take it off when we're not using it. And I do appreciate that if we are using it and Alani wants to walk on her own, I can just lift it up and it hooks right to the stroller and it is out of my way. For reference, Alani is three and I know that Mockingbird suggests that your child be at least that age because they should be holding on if they're using the riding board. Alani understands that she's supposed to hold on and I think that she's at a really good age for it. Some of the other things that I really love is that it is not right in front of me. I appreciate that it is off to the side so that the board's not in my way, Alani's not in my way. I really like that and I can tell a lot of thought when into the positioning of the riding board. With that said, that means that we end up sharing part of the handle. So obviously I have both hands on and then Alani is holding on to the left side. So I feel that sometimes I'm trying to put my hand either in between her hands or I'm putting my hand over top of her hands. So getting used to that did take some time for me, but I really don't know what a better option would be. For me, when Alani is holding on to the handlebar, it's very easy for her but we have noticed that it is a little more difficult if my husband is pushing the stroller because when he's pushing the stroller, he is using the handlebar at a higher height 
and then it is more difficult for Alani to reach the handlebar at that higher height. I'm only five foot and my husband's about 5'10", so there is a good amount of difference in our height. One of the things we love about the stroller is that it has the adjustable handlebar, but it is a little harder for my husband to adjust it if Alani is sitting on the riding board. I really love that she has the option to sit or stand though. And the little seat that it comes with is so easy. So if I do take it out, I can just throw it right into the basket and it's out of the way. Again, I feel like they put so much thought into all the different parts of this riding board and I really appreciate it. I feel like my biggest concern when it came to the riding board was how Alani was going to do with balancing. Again, she is three, but she has never been on a scooter before. And the riding board kind of reminds me of a scooter. I was worried that she might have trouble balancing or there might be issues if we hit like a bump or anything in the sidewalk but it is such a smooth ride. The board takes turns really well. It handles bumps really well. Alani didn't have any issues with balancing while using the board. And even when she was seated, if it was more of a bumpy ride, she still wasn't uncomfortable. I made sure to check in with her a lot just to make sure she was comfortable. And most of the time she preferred sitting. I pushed the stroller around for a little bit, set up for three children. Obviously I only have two, but I just wanted to get a feel for it. So I had Emmy in the seat and then we also attached our old car seat and I had Alani using the riding board. I did not have the weight of an infant, but I still thought it was really smooth to push. Alani has not outgrown the seat, but what I like about using the riding board instead of the seat is sometimes she wants to walk and sometimes she just gets tired of walking. It's a lot easier for her to get on and off the riding board during a walk than it is for me to get her in the seat and buckle her and then she decides she wants to walk on a little bit and then I'm having to unbuckle her again. So I feel like the riding board just makes that a lot easier with an indecisive toddler. Also, I like the weight distribution with the riding board. Most of the time when I'm using both seats, I have Emmy toward me up top and then Alani at the bottom. So most of the weight is then in that front bottom area of the stroller. When I'm using the riding board though, more of the weight is toward the back with me. And I just find it to be even easier to maneuver the stroller that way. I feel like this has to be my last update for Mockingbird. I can't imagine they're gonna come out with anything else that I feel like I have to buy, but I have just loved so many of their products. And I've also just loved like the customer service and the company as a whole. Again, I've purchased the stroller and the riding board on my own with my own money. And I am not being paid to make these videos. I just absolutely love this stroller. If you do use the links in the description though, it does help me and it does help my channel. So thank you so much for your support. As always, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments. And if there's anything that I missed, definitely let me know in the comments. That's going to be it for this video. If you do end up getting the stroller or the riding board or any of the other accessories that Mockingbird has, I hope you absolutely love them. I know we do. And if you're not yet subscribed, please make sure to hit that subscribe button. Thanks so much and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.